Hey, oh, hey, hey. Real life, you're a mother nigga. Hi. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm not gonna say welcome back, because it's sure. Is the old been months since I've been here, so I don't even think saying welcome back, welcome back to what? Like, I don't think welcome back is a thing. So, welcome to my channel. I'm Joanne. If you don't know me, um, if you're part of the few subscribers that I have and you're here today, thank you, thank you for being loyal and not unsubscribing and being patient with me. If you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy it here. And I'm not gonna bother you about what we do on the side, but we do make up sometimes. Sometimes we do vlogging, you know. But since we're in a pandemic, aka pandemic, there's only so much a girl can do, but you know, yeah. Anyway, down with the formalities. So, what this is, you see, I have a whole new setup. I hope this looks cute actually. Hey, like. Uh, I went through quite a bit to get to it to look kind of like this but I got a backdrop it's new like this is the first time using it so enough with my rambling what today is or what this video is I am trying something very new I don't think I don't want to say that I came up with this idea because you know how people are they'll be like are oh, you doing something I'm not giving credit words to you I haven't seen this Anyway, it's quite hot guys. These lights are doing a lot. It's very hot and I can't switch on the fan because it'll make a noise slash block me up and oof. But uh, I haven't seen anyone do this series really But I am starting a new series and essentially the series is gonna be me recreating or doing a look a makeup look inspired by a Netflix show that I have watched or I am watching whether it be a series or whether it be a movie okay with that being said so essentially I'm gonna pick a show that I have watched or I am watching preferably have watched I'm complete with um, or I'm done with and then I'm going to do a makeup look inspired by that series and essentially I'm gonna follow the scheme that the or the theme that the series or movie or show let me say show the show follows in order so in order for the look to make sense to show that it is inspired by and i'm gonna speak about the series and what i like and low-key what the series is about i'm not gonna say too much just in case you want to watch it but yeah that's what i am planning on doing i hope that you like the series don't forget to press the like button and subscribe because i mean I just um, we're gonna go right ahead into today's or the first the first first show I got my nails did the other day and they're so cute chill Ugh, it's not gonna focus because of the light but they're so cute Ugh, I really like them and I'm just <laughs> the first series I'm going to do is none other but Bridgerton you probably saw in the title um so Bridgerton before I get into everything, I just want to start off with the makeup before I start rambling. Um, but Bridgerton's makeup looks, I noticed, are very, very skin-like. If they don't do anything too, too extra, it's minimalistic, always skin-like, always just you. Your skin, but better. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Stephanie, the person who I'm trying to center my makeup look around, didn't have um, a lot of she didn't have a lot of makeup on all the time, a lot of eyeshadow and all. It was always just about her skin, blush and, you know, perfect skin. Even the lips, like there was no glosses or mattes. It was just like a balmy texture, essentially mattes, but it even looked like her skin at times, you know. So that's what I'm going for today. <sighs> oh, chill, it's hot. It's hot. So the first thing we're going to do is eyebrows and um, I am going to insert like a picture or two of Daphne if you don't know Daphne and you're trying to see what Daphne looks like. So 
So Bridgerton is a series that is set in the 18th century um, in Europe, right? And basically what it focuses on is um, a time where women that are now of age to, you know, start dating and get into relationships to get married and have children, build a family and so forth, right? And with that, uh, it focuses um, on basically, a, not a few, I think it was two households. My bad, I finished the series on one day. Uh, this was like quite earlier this month. Uh, but yes, Bridgerton is about um, young women that are basically have come of age. Usually I think it starts from like 18 to like your 20s, early 20s, like 2021, 20, right? They deem that the age um, in which women are ready now to start families, right? So it focuses on uh, a family, uh, a family that's quite wealthy. I wouldn't necessarily wealthy. They are wealthy, but also well respected, and you know, in the in the in the. To be quite honest, I don't remember where it took part. <laughs> where it took place? What's the name of the place? Uh, but yeah, in the area, right? So well respected family and another family, and yeah so it follows daphne bridgerton as she's now of age and she is looking for somebody that she can possibly spend the rest of her life with and you know and daphne grew up in a household where love was um you know was there and her parents were very much in love with each other now what daphne looks for in all these men that she um can possibly get a husband for from which are called suitors she is looking for somebody she essentially will fall in love with and she will love you know and considering that it was in a time like that you know love wasn't really a big concept it was really about finding somebody who can take care of you and somebody who's well respected and will be beneficial or your relation with them will be beneficial for you and your family and yeah, and then you just, you know, you get going with him and you marry him and you have his kids and all that. And yeah, so Daphne was trying to look for love because her family really didn't care much for the relationship that her husband, her, her potential husband or her future husband would bring for them because they were, like I said, quite a wealthy family, quite well established and quite respected in this area, right? I'm quite bad at telling stories to be quite honest, so I really want to see how the series will go <laughs> without me making it very, very long. But I'm gonna conceal and then we're gonna continue. Yeah. The reason why Daphne in that specific season was really everyone had her eyes their eyes on her was because before these young ladies these debutantes they are called go out and um start participating in these activities where or social activities where they can possibly meet um different men that can be their potential husbands right they are fir they first go to the queen and i'm priming they first go to the queen and the queen looks at you and she she says what she feels about you sometimes she'll speak sometimes not you know and everything so in that specific season right um daphne daphne and i was priming with the revlon rose glow photo ready rose glow primer the queen called her flawless i think yeah, I think she called her flawless, right? And everyone was like, oh, this is the girl to look to. And now, because of that, people were expecting that a lot of suitors were going to be looking for Daphne and trying to get with Daphne, right? And also for Daphne, this, this was a good thing. So now, what makes this series, series interesting is that there's now 
a lady called Lady Whistledown that appears. And what Lady Whistledown Down does is she writes, you know, so she writes about what's happening in the town, in the town, <laughs> in the town, that's what they call the people. She writes about what's happening in the town and, you know, like she knows everything about everyone excuse me and how nobody knows but also people don't know who lady whistledown is because if they knew they would be in trouble the queen isn't very fond of lady whistledown right um so now lady whistledown writes everything about everyone like she's not shy like she really i have a few pimples here but i'll cover them up now with concealer um Lady Whistledown writes everything about, anything about everyone, right? Including the rich, the poor, okay, not necessarily the poor, but she, she writes, like, she writes about these people, right? And she writes nothing but the truth also, you know? So if she speculates and she's like, I feel like Daphne isn't going to get a man, then now Daphne is shaking because she feels like, oh, you know, like... They valued Lady Whistledown's opinion, even though they they didn't know who she is. But also, thing is, she got the ton speaking, so you know you had to just be like she wasn't far off from the queen. I'm just using some LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn just to cover up where I feel like I have um, pimples and scars, so that my skin really looks flawless. So now, yeah, like. People valued Lady Whistledown's opinion and more than anything, they were trying to impress her too. So like if you've impressed Lady Whistledown, it's like impressing the queen, you know. Um, I'm going to add this Pro Conceal in Fawn in areas where I'd highlight, but specifically under my eyes and around my mouth, just to color correct. So now they value what Lady Whistledown has to say and she just makes things interesting like like she really just makes things interesting because people shake once they, they received her or they receive her 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 newsletter I'd call it or her paper. I'm gonna let this concealer dry down a bit so that there's more coverage but I'm gonna blend in my foundation and before I do that I'm just gonna add this rose dewy glow face mist from the body shop and like it says it makes your skin dewy and just to help move my foundation the foundation that I'm using Child, where are my words? The foundation that I'm using is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15 and the shade that I'm using is NC44. And in Bridgerton, everyone looked flawless. Like, their skin was flawless. No pimple inside, nothing. So, um, perfect skin tone also is a thing. So that's what um, our, f our face will be doing in this tutorial I said lady was so down is basically making everyone shake in their boots because of what she'll say and it's also like what will lady was so down say next and also it was just she was just building a lot of attention around the season of suitors because it is an important time for these young ladies and you know everybody was just trying to see who's getting with who and not getting in like the hour way of getting with people but like it was just to see who has their eye on who and who's um really been conversating with who and who looks like they're gonna get a man within the season because it's possible to leave the season without like finding somebody that you you know you would spend the rest of your life with it's possible okay i'm gonna start blending out this area So 
So the actual plot of Bridgerton, I'm not saying that this is the reason why we watch Bridgerton now, but also I'm not saying that. So the Duke of Hastings returns and the Duke of Hastings is friends with Daphne's brother and Anthony, 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 I'm calling him Anthony. So Simon returns and the lady who raised him because his mom passed away at a young age like just after birth in fact um the lady who essentially raised him which is a good friend of his mom's um forces him to go to the first ball of the season right and there he encounters daphne but they get up on the wrong foot right they just have a, a situation right and therefore going onwards like they didn't they, they were just not kicking it like they were not all you know buddy buddy What I like about them is that their parents named them in alphabetical order. So the eldest child's name starts with A, Anthony, and then, okay, Daphne is the fourth child, so A, B, C, D, Daphne, and then what, who comes up to her is Eloise, which is the fifth child, and so forth, so forth, and I think it ends at five because they're like five, seven or eight, sorry, seven or eight kids, so I think that is quite interesting and cute. The Duke and Daphne decide that not they're gonna pretend like they're gonna pretend like they are, you know, seeing something together or like they are feeling each other. Therefore, they're gonna start dancing together at these balls, and you know, and this is after some really like a really really old man, like he was like in his forties or something, was trying to get with Daphne, right? And then there was an incident and then from there they decided that you're gonna help me and I'm gonna help you. So they attend these events together and you know they speak and they're always together. So that basically their plan is working fine until they fall in love. I'm gonna set my highlights and everything else with the, what is this, Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love this powder on it. It's a million rand, but <laughs> this powder is that girl. I tap it on the back of my hand so it's less. And then I sit. And I go back and just go all around these areas. Daphne and and ooh, Duke of Hastings fall in love, right? But they don't say, because also the Duke knows that he can't marry Daphne because of his reasons. And yeah, like, so now he tries to escape the situation because he sees that things are like getting a little deep. So he leaves, he says that he's leaving London, right? And he tells Daphne that the reason that he's leaving and he's just now concluding the whole business is because she got what she wanted and he got what he wanted. Daphne was upset and like understandably so because now they had built a relationship and like it was just ending just like that, you know? So yeah, and then he comes and then hi, hi, hi. They like have like a fight, Nyana, and then you know, in the heat of the moment, Simon kisses Daphne. Now, during this time, you weren't supposed to do... You know how there's no sex before marriage, right? Um, but in this time, you couldn't even, like, kiss or I think even a hug. Like, you, you greeted each other from far. Like, there was no physical contact. Like, I think you could hold hands like this, but you couldn't kiss, you couldn't a hug and all that. It was... All for your wedding night slash um, when you're married, right? So now he kisses Daphne and then they essentially are just now kissing in this garden, right? And Anthony comes and this now makes Daphne 
unpure. And this is this is like the one off thing, but like I think because I really enjoyed the series, like despite the patriarchal things that were in the series, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, and so because of that, it was either Simon had to now marry her. If anyone found out, then it'd be a situation like it ruined Daphne and her family's reputation. So now they eventually get married because of that, but they don't say that that's the reason that they're getting married. Right? I think I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna focus on the makeup for just a little more, and then I'm gonna. And then we're gonna get into what happens after when we're close to done. I care. So now, like, literally, it's awkward, guys, and they're not speaking together, or they're not speaking to each other, and all that, all that. So now, on their wedding night, eventually, they speak, and they find out that they love each other, and Simon confesses his love for Miss Bridgerton, and, oh, guys, with the romance in that series, chill. <laughs> And then now they're all Gucci and now we're happy because they're Gucci and they get to haste things and she's doing the duties and you know like everything life is good and then uh, they go back to London because they find out that her brother Colin is getting married right to Miss Thompson so yeah they go back home and the rest is just for you to watch. It's just like little details, but yeah, and yeah, I think let me let me let me stop there with the series. But in the end, they do live happily ever after. And yeah, it's really just for you to watch. The episodes are quite long, but I enjoy them because it's like when you think it's gonna finish, it's like no, I'm not done. That's honestly how I ended up finishing the series within a day because I started it. But it was a Sunday night. I literally stayed up until like 4am that day, guys, to finish the series. <laughs> so, I'm not condoning that behavior though, sleep. But, you know, it's it's such a good series. It keeps you captivated. And you just want to know what happens. Like, it's so, so good. Like, I really, I really love the series. And it's worth watching. Um, you can watch it with family. But some things are not for, are not family friendly. But, you know yeah like it's really it's really a nice series i'm taking this nyx glitter and i'm gonna take this brush right and i'm gonna put the glitter and i'm gonna fast the brush with some setting spray right oh, i just made my opinion dirty and i'm gonna apply that to my lid We'll just pretend we're going to a ball and that's why we're being so extravagant. What I really like about the series is the plot and the plot is Mr. Simon. <laughs> Kid Duke of these things, no, I'm joking. Um, I really enjoyed it because it was captivating, it was interesting and it was just a modern way of watching or a modern a modern tale of the olden days like the 18th century and it was quite interesting and also just just to get to see how they did things because you know they used to wear corsets and they you know like they would dance to 
you know converse and your family knew everything about your relationship essentially and Daphne had an opinion on who she wanted to marry and you know she was very open with her mom and you know I I enjoyed that relationship like I enjoyed watching that relationship because she spoke to her mom that no well most of the time um, I like seeing people of color especially in leadership positions or positions that are very high um, like the Queen, the Queen was a, a black woman, the Duke of Hastings was a black woman, Lady Danbury was a black woman, uh, the Duke of Hastings' father was a black man, obviously, you know, Miss Thompson is a black woman, so there were a lot of people of colour which I enjoyed, and it wasn't a thing of, you know, people of colour will wear the pots are where the dishes are where the serving people were and all that all that so i really enjoyed that part of bridgerton like it was very it was very diverse like i really really enjoyed that like it was 10 out of 10 highly recommend that right we are essentially done with the face we are done we just need some mascara and some lips and i think we're gonna start off with the should we start off with the lips i think let's start with mascara what i also really liked about the series and daphne as a character was her strong will like and as much as you had to be respectful and to even like your brother and i'm not saying you, you can't respect your siblings like you had to respect your brother the same way you respect your mom or your dad right uh <laughs> Um, but Daphne was strong willed she wasn't afraid of saying that no I don't like that I don't want that person and I feel like you're not respecting me or I feel like so and so and you know I also like Eloise because Eloise wasn't like they kind of show us that they are like a woman back then they only go wasn't to get married and all that like they show a contrast between Eloise, which is Daphne's sister. I didn't mention her that much, but I did mention her once. Eloise didn't care for this whole um, getting quoted by men and all that. Eloise just wanted to go to university, which they couldn't do as women. And it was upsetting her and her homegirls, uh, you know. So, um, yeah, but I enjoyed that they showed the that you can be, people are different, especially women, not all women aspire to be, you know, that, and they show that, and when I say that, I mean, like, not, they don't aspire to be the family woman and all that, there are some women who want to continue with their education and, you know, be educated. I applied it just into the outer edge because the ladies' uh, lashes, specifically Daphne also, weren't, like, really full and all that, they were natural, so... And more so towards the end where they were longer and all that. So I'm just making it look like that, trying to achieve the same effect. Oh, okay. I think that's cute. I think that's cute. I like her. I like her. We can take her out. My throat feels funny, so I'm sucking on a throat lozenge. Due to this pain that goes my area cold, like in Dr. Medium Tone. Whatever any said, whatever. You know, you know what she said, you know what she said. This is a cute look. Uh, she's cute. Old. Uh, I'm gonna add matte setting spray. Oh, she's giving us looks but I really like how it looks like it's the blush for me it's the one one color face like no perfections perfect skin it's the subtle but oh like gorgeous I look okay the lips are a little extravagant it's a nude which is as close as we can get I think like, oh, I just thought of a color, but I don't feel like doing it now. And like, it's very skin-like, no highlights. Highlights for what? Like, highlight for what? Highlight 
for what? And it's a very subtle lashes. It's not my nose leaking, child. Should I get dressed? I'm getting dressed for you. I'm giving you guys the whole show today. I'm giving you guys the whole show. I'm gonna wear a dress for you. Because I got you. I got you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> looking very princessy very rich very oh it's the detail for me yeah. okay oh she killed guys i love this dress <laughs> and i haven't worn it in so long and i don't even have the back tie it's those dresses that you also tie very bridgerton vibes very very accurate for what we're doing here i looked the part uh, i don't have the gloves but but ooh, she 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 banging she yeah how do they speak again in bridgerton your grace presenting duchess the duchess of hastings daphne bridgerton lady or whatever it is but yeah this is the final look ciao <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it um if you want to find out what happens in the rest of the series and anything else that i didn't mention and obviously to just see how it happens watch bridgerton on netflix it is available there yes check it out check it out check it out <clears throat> and if you do have anything you would like me to watch, even if it's just to recommend, because you know you know how hard it is to find something that you will like on Netflix. So if you do have something for me to watch on Netflix, please recommend it down in the comments. And I might just watch the series and then end up doing a makeup look based on the series or inspired by the series. Anyway, I hope it's a good year with YouTube. I hope that it's a good year in general for everyone. I'm just hoping for nothing but positivity and good vibes and prosperity and just, you know, all the good things, child. Um, I hope you like my intro, my new intro, and you're gonna see my outro. It's real cute. So I hope you like it. So tell me what you think about that. And yeah, all the products that I use will be mentioned in the description box down below. And yeah, until next time.